good morning everyone and welcome back to Tbilisi. Today we're going to do a food tour, a huge Georgian food tour because you know how much we love our Georgian food. But to start off we are in Fabrica Tbilisi. It's not necessarily Georgian food but we're going to have coffee here because the significance of this place is that it used to be an old Soviet sewing factory. Now it's turned into a coffee shop, a bar, a huge hostel and it's definitely a place to check out if you are here. We've been waiting to check it out since we came here. We're Connor and Livy, a couple from England in our 20s who are on a mission to travel the world budget backpacking. We started this new adventure on April the 26th, 2023 and plan to travel around the world for as long as possible. If you've been with us for a while, you would know that last year we backpacked Turkey, the Balkans, Eastern and Central Europe, and that was just the beginning. We want to showcase the beautiful cultures that we encounter around the world and how at our core we are all the same. I think this is the best place to start the video. We have heard about Fabrica since we came here and even beforehand when we were doing our research and obviously we couldn't leave before getting ourselves a nice iced coffee. We get one every morning anyway. This one was a little more pricey but I think based on where we are it's reasonable. It was three pound. Three pound fifty-eight. Three pound which is a little expensive, but it's okay. It's a very nice place to sit, and there's ice cream in there. Good. Perfect. It always is. <laughs> Never go wrong with a nice latte. We are going to be trying all different types of things in this video. Obviously, we're going to be trying some traditional food, meat, vegetables, soups. You name it, we're going to have it, and we're going to try some wine. We're not the biggest fan of wine, but we cannot leave Tbilisi and Georgia in general without trying their wine. That is what they're known for. But as soon as we finish this iced coffee with ice cream in it, we're going to head off and get some traditional breakfast. which you get from like the hole in the wall kind of places because there isn't a large breakfast scene here at all so typically people go for like a pastry kind of thing but lobianis are basically filled with beans or meat i believe i think this is beans but please don't quote me on that and it's very similar to a kachapuri just with different fillings inside this was only four lari which is just over one pound so i'm going to try it now the which is insane this is ripped open is because it was such the first a large... half of it was just like pastry, so we wanted to show yeah. you guys what was inside of it. I'm just chewing pastry. And we can <laughs> have it. Wow, that's good. You can really taste the beans. That's for sure. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's quite hard to find a lot of variety when it comes to breakfast here. It's more like lunch and dinner. Yeah. So if you do want breakfast, like the kind of hole in the wall type scenario, is the best I'm to not do. I'm so sure I like that. No? I think the paste is very, the, like the beans are very dry in. Okay, and then mix it with the pastry, it's quite dry with the or? the pastry, it kind of makes it a little better. But okay, I'm okay. Not, I'm not too keen, that's for sure. But you can see why other people like it, I guess. I'm guessing it's really filling for a breakfast. Like all of that, I'm done for the day really, that yeah. like breakfast, but it looks nice, it looks good. This is going to be the prime example of never judging a book by its cover. We have learned while traveling to always go where the locals go. I'm wearing colored glasses if I look a little <laughs> And all the locals come here, it's very cheap. We've already chosen what we're going to get. We cannot wait. We're going to get so much, but it's for you guys. I cannot wait to try this. Okay. It's not good. Thank you so much. Yes. Check all this food out. We have a soup here that consists of chicken, coriander, like a plum puree. It looks really, really good. Then we have the kind of chicken version of it. It's a bit more watery, but definitely looks good. Then we have the cheese, which, ready for this. Whoa! Apparently, you have to eat it straight away, otherwise, it's horrible. Wrap it round your fork, like this. Then dip it in. Enjoy it. That is really, really good. And then we have the cornmeal with cheese. Actually, I think this is the plain one. And to wash it down, a national beer, the traditional beer that I'm going to try now. I think it's called Kazbegi. Wow. All of these flavors together, washing it down with a beer. 
absolutely amazing. I'm gonna give this a try. Full milk. Let's see what this is like. It's quite hard. I'll show you. There, there it is. Maybe dip it in something. Yeah, I think it's just a special type of bread. Mmm. That was really warm. Wow. Who knew Georgia food could be this good? And it was so quick. It came mm. out so fast. Literally, two minutes, bang. This is really, really good. I never knew Jordan cuisine was like this. Olivia's gonna try the chicken one. I'm not gonna dip anything into it. I'm just gonna have it as normal. How's it tasting? The is like orange. Is it? It does look like that. It's very, very similar. Exactly how it looks is kind of the texture of how it tastes. Mm, mm. Out of ten? Nice. Okay. Yes, yes, no. Okay. He has given us his food, which is really nice of him. <laughs> we have beef no, lung, and liver, which he's given us just off his table. Look at that. That looks nice. Let's go with this one. Ready? Wow, again, the meat is so soft, it's really well done, I like it. It's, it's, always, really nice. it's always what you don't expect to like. His favourite dish might be my favourite dish as well. People just giving us food for free. <laughs> we love it. I'm going to check it out more that was some of the best food we ever had we've never felt so welcomed into a restaurant there was all locals there that guy that was behind us he gave us some of his food to try because he was like are you guys food vloggers i was like here's some of our food to try that was amazing and for all of that with a local beer and olivia's drink as well it was eight pound fifty 29 lari so and i'm covered in my food covered in Apparently soup i don't know how to eat so it's all down me. sorry about the lighting by the way i did re-watch the video and the lighting is a bit off so the quality might drop a little bit but that's because the lighting in there was quite poor so we do apologize so for that Italia. Yes. We we'll leave it right here. Yeah, all the places we visit, we're going to leave a link below. So if you do visit here, you can go to the restaurants. But absolutely amazing. But for now, we are going to head to the markets. dried fruit instead which is the Turkish Kella which is pretty much the same I believe but just with no hazelnuts nothing inside so we're gonna try it now we've been looking at it for quite a while and eyeing it up you can't rip it I thought you could just like rip it you can it's good very chewy <laughs> very chewy I think I prefer the Turkish Kella slash Sujuk situation but I'm glad I tried this all the same very, very chewy. And that, by the way, one lari. One lari. One lari. Crazy. Really good, but so, oh my goodness, so chewy. I'm still going now. If you have watched our other videos here in Tbilisi, you will know that we have visited this place so many times, many times. and there is a reason for that. It's because it has the best Hinkali, in our opinion, in Tbilisi. That we have found so far. Yeah, so. it is so good. It's cheap. You can build your own. There's so much like dessert, traditional food in here. The customer service is really good. Cannot recommend it more. And for our YouTube sake, I don't think there's music, so there are no voiceovers needed. And of course you can't do a Georgian food tour without King Carly or Kachapuri. So yeah, and they also, I don't know if we're going to have it, I'm not sure. They have like a sweet King Carly, which is like chocolate, which is going to be crazy. So we're going to see what we can have. Maybe we'll have a wine, I'm not quite sure, but let's see what we're going to get. Now the hinkali here is made fresh and you know it's made fresh with how long it takes to make. Usually every time we've come here, it takes about 30 minutes. So it's handmade, they make it fresh to order, so you can't go wrong. 
It shouldn't take any longer than 45 minutes. But one thing to note is in general, in most places, the minimum order is going to be five. And you can't really chop and change what you want to have as a filling. Yeah. So that's why we've just gone with meat again, because we know we like meat. Otherwise, five cheese. You can get, get meat, cheese, potato, whatever you want you can have. One. Yeah, you can't have a mix. You can also just get a different variety of kinkali. So you can get it deep fried, pan fried with butter, or just normally steamed kinkali. So there's lots of different variants of kinkali. And we again, minimum order is normally five, but we have seen it as high as ten. So yes. Bear that in mind. Yeah, and we're definitely, obviously, we're going to try the kachapuri. We cannot leave here on this video without trying the kachapuri at this we place. Have so many categories i'm surprised <laughs> i've not turned them to bread i know this place is so good here because it has like a butter bit like a bit of butter that, to mix in as well that makes it even sweeter so good so much cheese that looks so good so what you're supposed to do is just as soon as it gets to your table just stir it up and it creates this so it's a boat shaped bread with an egg on the top and tons of cheese and you just mix it in and you get this eggy cheesy goodness and it is, it is the, good the best it's the best thing ever check this out oh my goodness we've noticed that georgian cuisine is a very full of like meat bread cheese dishes and a lot of cheese dishes ah thank you so much thank you and here is our hinkali we got fried ones, obviously. Oh my goodness. Still going, just mixing. <laughs> this looks so good. As we said, the king kali is made in house and you can get all different variations. Mm -hmm. These ones are meat and I think onion. And you can also get ones with cheese in it, like coriander in it. Anything you want, you I can get it. About the <laughs> you can get this, has got meat and coriander in it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But they are literally handmade. It's so good. I cannot wait to try this. Still going. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting. The lighting's very dim here, so the quality is going to be as good. But this is how we've like been taught to eat in Kali anyway. So that's what it looks like the fried version. And the, there's meat inside of it, and there's a lot of juices. So what I usually do is bite into it, it's going to be hot. Mmm really hot bite into it open it up there's the meat whoa all gonna dripping it all over the table out. and then oh it's so good drink the juice that's inside of it and then carry on eating it apparently it's good etiquette i think to leave etiquette like, etiquette to leave the stub of it just on it like don't eat it but olivia likes this, the <laughs> top of it anyway i just leave it there but honestly fried king Carly is the best thing ever. The kachapuri. With the kachapuri be prepared for mess because it's going to go absolutely everywhere or I just eat really badly. Who knows? <laughs> you cut or you pull it and you get as much on the bread as you physically can because it will fall out and you eat it. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, the music's playing. We need to end it quick, but it's very good. <laughs> We've reached out there. Cheers. Turned out to be £12.50 for everything, which is really, really good. Couldn't record more because there was music playing and Olivia just tried her cha-cha. We went to this other place to get cha-cha and we were just speaking to the lady and that's all we wanted. Yeah. She gave it to us for free. She gave so us a free shot of cha-cha. So yeah. Oh my goodness, though, I do not know what is wrong with these people. Her whole How face was red. Her that? whole face was red. I was like, you're going to throw up, aren't you? You're going to oh, throw God. up. And I don't drink a lot, like, at all. So Connor always gives it to me because he thinks it's funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. And it's just like the palinka. It is just like straight petrol. I smell it and I was like, yeah, Olivia, you can have that one. But she gave it to us for free, which was really, <laughs> so really nice. So I have to act like it's, um, it's nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't drink, so... But we've tried, well, Olivia's me. tried cha-cha. We've tried a lot of traditional foods now. So we'll see what else we can find. But the weather isn't really keeping up with us. So we'll decide in a minute. That might be our last drink of the day. It might be. Whoa, we're back at our Airbnb. That's because after smoking some shisha, after Olivia almost throwing up, taking a shot of cha-cha, it started pouring it down. So we had to run back to our Airbnb, which means we wasn't able to try a local dessert, a traditional dessert or some traditional wine, but we will be doing that in the next video. So stay tuned for that. 
But that is going to be the end of this food tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We definitely enjoyed the food here. The cuisine here is a 10 out of 10. But please like, subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.